This interview is brought to you by ECB Sports Management, as well as Combat Sports Investing, the leading betting page of the industry. Hi guys, Chris from Emeon here interviewing Weston Wilson. He's, his fight's gonna be next at XMMA2 this weekend. Weston, how's it going today? It is going really good. Weight cut is on point, five pounds ago. So I think it really well. How's everything going in South Carolina for you right now? Uh, things are going really well. Um, been, well, I live here right in Greenville. Um, been training with with Coach Thompson, Wonder Boy, Coach Davini, all everybody at Upstate Karate. Um, so we had a really good camp. Things have, you know, been fantastic. We had a lot of people come in for Wonder Boy's camp against Gilbert Burns. So I got to kind of pigtail off of that and and train with a lot of really good guys and and get a lot of good looks for this fight. Mm -hmm. Upstate Karate is a great gym over there. And, uh, but what, what led you to Upstate Karate in the first place? Um, so I was living out in California about 18 months ago, uh, and we had an office out here. So I'd always come out here and spend a week or two for work. And I'd get a train with Coach T and Wonder Boy and stuff like that. Really liked the vibe and everything. So when work offered me a chance to move out here, I was like, oh yeah, let's take it. Um, and so we moved out here December, 2019 and, uh, I haven't looked back since. You know, it's been fantastic uh, getting to be a part of the team, getting to you know learn and and also help build up. We got a lot of great amateurs coming up uh, on the team as well. Um, so it's been been awesome to be part of that over the last eighteen months. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, are you a fan of Cobra Kai by any chance? Uh, I do. I, I do like the show. It, it, it's pretty cool. And uh, every time there's a new season, we get a bunch of new students who join the gym, uh, and and so it's really cool to see that and. A lot of them end up, you know, it's cool to see them go from like nothing to like being able to start sparring and fighting and, and eventually get a fight and, and things like that. So it's it's really awesome uh, to see that process. Mm -hmm. And I've asked, asked uh, Ray and Steven the same question about what, with your cardio style, what is it, where does it more like align with Cobra Kai or Miyagi though? Uh, you know, it's, it's funny because Wonder Boy is more of that like, Miyagi type of guy and, and Coach T is actually more like Johnny Lawrence uh, and very hard nosed and very, you know, in your face, but, but still cares about you. Um, and I kind of lean towards the middle. I'm, I'm not, I, I actually don't really like, uh, um, I, I like more of the Cobra Kai side than Miyagi. I'm not about that. <laughs> got it, got it. Then you're fighting Brendan uh, Bouchard. Uh, this weekend at XMMA 2. What do you think of him as an opponent going forward? Uh, I don't really think of him at all. Um, I, I haven't watched any footage of him. I, I know his age, I know his height, uh, and I know his record. And, and that's the extent of research I did for this fight. Um, I just felt like I didn't need to study him and, and focus more on what I'm going to do and not what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Is that how like the game plan is for like all of your opponents, just to not really focus on them but yourself? We we've done both, you know. We we like okay, let's look up what this guy's gonna do. Let's look, you know, uh, let's put our game plan around that. I actually fight worse when I like try to put my game plan around like oh these are their strengths and let's just focus on like nullifying those strengths. Instead, you know, we decided let's just focus on my strengths and force him to try to you know answer my question instead of me answering his question if that makes sense got it and like i, I know you don't want to force anything up but if you had to put this fight into a prediction what would it be uh it'll probably be knockout knockout you know, probably second round awesome but yeah it'll, it'll it'll be a knockout mm. what can the fans expect to see from you uh this weekend at xmma2 they're gonna see a lot of cool striking a lot of like uh similar but different to Wonder Boy. Um, we, we have a lot of similarities, but we also have a lot of differences as well. Um, so we see a lot of that, you know, in and out, a lot of that like really slick, smooth striking um, and see some elbows and knees as well. I, I think he likes to get close from what I, I anticipate. And so when he does, we'll uh, hit him with some elbows and some knees. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Wonder Boy, you know, his last fight had some controversy with Gilbert Burns hitting him to the back of the head. Do you think a point should have been taken away for that? 
Um, yeah, because he hit him in the, the back of the head in the first round uh, a couple times on the ground, and then he, he had four or five blatant ones in the last 10 seconds. I think uh, the referee was just lazy and, you know, knew that there was 10 seconds left and, and didn't call it. But rules are rules, and, and you should fight within the rules um, for sure. Uh, you know, but take nothing away from Gilbert. He fought his fight, and um, but Wonder Boy will be back, and he'll be back better than ever. Mm -hmm, for sure. Then you know, your last fight snapped a three-fight win streak. What could you? What lessons could you take away from that fight? Uh, there's a lot of issues I had mentally um, going into it. We've since addressed those those issues, um, and, and like I said, we were so like watching him and watching his film and, and thinking like, okay, this is what he's going to do. So let's just answer those questions. Instead, it should have just been like, this is what I'm going to do and, and who cares. Um, so there was a lot of stuff mentally that we've changed in how I approach and in the camp and, and Coach T and Coach Davini, uh, our other coach on the upstate team. Um, we've had a lot of discussions one-on-one, -on -one, me and, and them, and uh, we've addressed all those issues. We have mentally prepared differently um, and really fell in love with the fight instead of just the win. Mm -hmm. And how has the XMMA treated you like as a promotion and, you know, to its fighter? Uh, it's been awesome. You know, um, I, I'm super grateful to be on the card. I have a bunch of former teammates on this card and Steve Seiler and Ramsey Nijum. Um, so it's been great to see them and hang out with them and to get a fight on the same card as them, you know, because we used to train together like every day you know when they were both in the ufc i was the guy that they beat up upon so it's cool to be on the same car as them now um and kind of get that little passing of the torch um this weekend mm -hmm. what fights are you looking forward to the most on this card um you know i got my teammate john sweeney uh so we're really looking forward to that one i'm looking forward to uh chris curtis i met him in in utah uh my last fight and you know he, he taught me an actually valuable lesson without meaning to in the locker room. Um, and then uh, obviously Steve Seiler, Ramsey Nijum are, are the other two that I'm, I'm really stoked about. And I'll have my eye on the Marcus Brimage, Kyle Boschniak card as well, our fight. Mm -hmm. And are you going to be like the hometown hero for, for this one, you know, with this fight being on your home turf? Well, I'm an adopted hometown, you know, <laughs> person, but most definitely, uh, most definitely look to represent. Uh, Simpsonville, Greenville, you know, this, this whole area. I, I look to uh, represent them along with my teammate John Sweeney and, and bring W's home. Mm -hmm. And where can the fi uh, fans uh, follow you on social media? Instagram's at Weston Wilson, uh, W S T I N. Um, same thing with Facebook. Uh, I also got a, a live streaming company uh, called Combat Cast where I live stream a lot of fights for promoters and things like that. So we got a lot of great content on that website, so combatcast.tv, if you want to go check out uh, my business.